it's Mad along with Goo. Today, we're going to talk about Maya. How worthwhile is she? Or is she just something you should drag on from? Stay tuned. Maya human form. Think of a more powerful and a little bit more expensive Jamiris uh, for the main thing that she's going to do, and that's Accelerate Dance. Uh, raises agility of all units for three turns. Um, this is by far her most powerful skill in her human form um, that we are going to use a, uh, often in Arena and Guild Wars. Uh, and the reason is, is if you tune your speed correctly, uh, Maya, who saw she got her to one heart, uh, sorry, Maya will uh, usually go ahead first. And then with Accelerate Dance, you can guarantee that she will be able to uh, go first or at least first on your team and then uh, use that to boost all your other units uh, up so that they basically get to double attack on turns one and two. Uh, her second skill is also pretty powerful. Butterfly Pop has a 60% stun. Um, and this is a magic spell damage, so uh, units that have uh, high evade will not miss this, but can be bounced back, so just be careful with that. Another very useful skill. And her third one, Dancing Dragon, steals 100% frizz damage to all enemies and occasionally lower frizz resistance. Honestly, her least useful of the three. It's a little um, upsetting uh, because honestly, that's where most of your buffs are going to be. Yes, it has good damage uh, with good range, but honestly, I prefer the first two over Dancing Dragons. Um, and honestly, you're not going to use it very much because uh, turn three, you're going to be wanting to be in dragon form, which I'll talk about a little later. Um, her first one, move plus one, is always good for first awakening. Lucian Frizz, second and fourth. Uh, the third one is reduced damage taken by 50% once. Uh, and this is kind of important. Uh, you need her to stay alive. And what you really want to do if you're fighting against her is kill her turn one. Um, and that's really hard to do. And that's why she is so powerful. Um, and the last one, fifth one, is Auto HP Recovery and Flame Dance, which is pretty good overall. Um, she has a dragon form, but we're going to go to her hero skill first, which is Puff. So on turn one, you're either going to hit Accelerate Dance or uh, Butterfly Bob, depending on the speed of our whole team. But most likely, it's going to be Accelerate Dance. Uh, the second turn, you are almost always going to hit cast Puff, which heals user, which heals my 100, basically her entire HP and turns herself into a dragon uh, for three turns. So her dragon form on uh, turns three and four, especially, you're going to be using, um, depending if they're weak to stun or if they're weak to frizz, um, Scorching Flame or Trample. Trample is a huge, huge um, range. And remember, there's zero MP consumption. Uh, uh, Rhombus deals very high heavy damage three times to all enemies within range and stuns occasionally. The other one's massive first breath damage to all enemies. Um, these are incredibly powerful. If you allow Maya to get into dragon form, she has a 30% resistance to damage and is incredibly annoying. So most likely she is going to be going first on turn two, turn if you're going against it, and she will puff. Um, I don't know how good the AI is, but that's my assumption. And if you're playing uh, Guild War, uh, sorry, PvP real time, you're definitely going to be seeing that. Uh, and at that point, Maya becomes a lot harder to uh, completely go around. Uh, the one thing that you've got to 
really do is go for her confusion. That's about the only way to really counteract Maya. Uh, yeah, she's super weak to poison as well, which can help you, you know, venomate her, and that will slowly go through that. But uh, these skills are just too scary to uh, completely damage, and you can't charm her, which really, really sucks. Um, if you're going against her, it's great for her to have. Uh, her HP and defense are good enough. Um, she also gets high evasion uh, for the first three turns. And remember, you're just trying to survive to get to the dragon form with her. That's easy enough overall. Uh, she has that HP recovery fifth. Um, but as I say in general, her HP is solid uh, for with her defense. Uh, her MP is very, very high, especially considering uh, 1 and 2, you're only going to use at most 200. Turn 3, 4 are going to be 0 MP. So you're just looking at, honestly, a pretty long time. So that's enough MP overall. Uh, her agility is pretty good, 406, and Wisdom's high enough. Where if you're going to be using a uh, spell, she'll do some good damage. And goes to get her at least plus one for her movement. Preferred weapon is the Dancer Staff, Wisdom 28, because it increases Hero Frizz power by 5%, which really makes her turn three kind of scary. Um, you can do Dancing Dragon, Scorching Flame, and Wisdom, but personally, um, I might go with some HP on her. Uh, people are going to say, ooh, high agility, we're going to no, I kind of disagree, and uh, the main reason is you want her to be just fast enough uh, to be faster than the rest of your team, and she, because of her ability of uh, Dancing Queen, or uh, what is it called Dazzling Dancer here, sorry, I got Abba stuck in my head. Um, she will have enough agility uh, as long as you don't have those increased agility for the three three turns for your team. And having her have more HP, especially for defense, is going to be incredibly useful. If you're going for uh, uh, PvP, um, then, you know, maybe uh, some agility. But for Guild Wars, higher HP will make her really, really scary overall. So our pros, Acceleration Step is a very powerful tool. Um, basically, she is Jamiris on steroids. Uh, the only thing she doesn't do is pull units back, and she's a hero, so she can't learn additional skills. So that's the, basically the only thing, but she is a lot more beefy and honestly deals a lot more damage than Jamiris. Um, her dragon state, and obviously the difference between Wush and Frizz, her dragon state will output incredible damage uh trample i believe uh does three uh, one thousand damage on some units enemies and uh being trampled in arena can lead to a wipe um unless if you have high hp so she is very dangerous um, and, of course, for her resistances, um, at least you can uh, hobble her, uh, which is important. Um, and is the, uh, just taking a look here, Trample is martial damage. Um, trample just isn't uh, damage. It's also uh, stuns. And uh, for his type, breath damage too can be just absolutely insane. First three turns have high agility and invasion rate, and when dragon status is there, status elements are pretty much disabled. So what you've really got to do is if you're going to go after her, um, it, it, it's really, really scary for her. Um, so just be very careful uh, with, uh, with Maya if you're going against her. Dragon stance can really only be used, and I'm putting this in quotation marks, on the third turn or later, you turn into a dragon turn two, you have two turns to absolutely destroy um, 
and then she becomes the normal unit after that, but she is very scary and she will lead to a lot lower. Um, she makes Guild Wars very annoying. She is a great unit. Love to have her, but I need to save her solo first. Um, but she is my number two target. And yes, I know there's sorrow, but Maya, Maya is a very scary unit to go against. Um, there are ways to get against her, um, and it's all about this confusion. Get her by turn two, but as long as you can, if you do your Guild Wars defense correctly, you will be okay, and you should be able to get her into puff form, and then she's just absolutely scary to deal with. Um, Balak, actually, I, uh, that's the Japanese name. Uh, I'll take a quick look at his name. Uh, there is the unit. Um, unfortunately, I got him. I haven't gotten Maya yet. Um, is it, it's Pickerer. God, Balak's a better name. Um, it's an interesting unit, um, uh, but... It's only a strong unit for two turns and then falls off drastically hard. Very, very annoying in that regards. Uh, that's because its first uh, gives a very, very strong um, uh, ability to greatly uh, raise attack and move for two turns. Um, if you look at its stats, its HP and defense are okay. Agility is pretty high and the attack is 522. But uh, the skills it still doesn't do a huge amount other than Innocent Prank, which uh, pulls all enemies up to two squares. I kind of like that one. Um, and the breath damage is breath damage, which will give you some uh, damage there. But the big issue is does not have a super hitter? Stubborn Palm is 250% says physical damage, which is fine. And the third one, a 20% chance of increasing power by 1.5x for a turn. Um, Picketer here is just not really, and Balak, honestly, is a better name, just not really the greatest unit. Uh, if you're pulling hard in this banner, it's for Maya. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, what do you think of the unit? Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and greatly helps the channel, or at least throw a like as well. I greatly appreciate this. You guys have a wonderful day, and more importantly, do apologize for this being late. I got way late by norovirus, and this is the first day I've even had energy to really talk. So I do apologize.